vertical gardening is an extremely powerful way, especially if you're in a small space, to grow a ton of food. But there are some crops that work a little better than others. So in this video, I'm gonna give you three different concepts to plant in a vertical system. So first off, what do we have right here? Well, we have what are called green stock gardens. It's our favorite vertical tower. This is the old school one. This is the classic one. It is the five tier system. You can see there's some deeper pockets here. So there's six per on five levels. So that means you got 30 planting sites in about two square feet as far as the footprint goes. Over here, we have the leaf, which is the seven tier system. So you got 42 planting spots. So we've tested almost everything you could possibly think of in these. And here's the first thing I think works really well. First up, we have strawberries. A strawberry tower, in fact, is how a lot of these strawberries are produced in commercial systems if they're grown hydroponically. We're gonna be growing these in soil. The other reason I really like strawberries in a vertical system is because strawberries have this tendency to throw out what are called runners. And in a bed, which we have a bed actually right over there, you kind of have to control those runners. It's gonna throw one out, root, throw another one out, root, and it can get a little unruly. Well, if you plant one in a vertical system like this, so imagine we had this one right here, it doesn't have anywhere to run. So this one plant is just gonna produce mostly strawberries. You can clip the runners off very easily and manage it. So let's plant this out right now. We just planted out about five layers of strawberries, so 30 strawberry plants, again, in about four square feet of a footprint. And you might be wondering, okay, well, you know, the sun's coming over here. How does it make sure that you get adequate sun coverage? Because wouldn't it block the light from itself being a tower? Well, that's where the spinner on the bottom really comes in handy. So you can just every day, just give it a quick rotation, maybe 180 degrees, and you're totally fine. So this is gonna be such a productive way to grow in my estimation, one of the best fruits you will ever eat and one of the easiest fruits you'll grow in the garden. And that brings us to number two, beans. Beans were one of the first things ever that I planted in a vertical system, just as an experiment, because I thought if you're growing a bush bean variety, what better way to have easy access to actually picking the beans? And when you grow beans, picking them as they become perfectly ripe is a great way to spur on new bean growth. So a few years ago at the old homestead, I actually grew about 40 or 50 bean plants in a tower and I got pounds and pounds and pounds of beans reliably for an entire summer. So you can direct sow perfectly fine in a green stock garden or a vertical system like this. Of course, you can also transplant. And what we've discovered is having two bean plants per is perfectly fine. It doesn't disrupt the growth of each bean plant. And so if you think about it, let's just say I have 42 growing sites like I do in this green stock leaf, I can actually be growing 84 bean plants in this space. It's such a good use of vertical space, especially if you're a space constrained gardener on a balcony or all you have is a patio or a porch. That's how I started gardening. And so something like this was absolutely killer for me. So I'll do a couple layers of this and then we'll move on over to the classic five tier system. Beans and lettuce, a fantastic combination or a fantastic tower to run on its own. But in this one over here, you may want to consider growing things that are a little bit more deeper rooted. This isn't my exact pick for number three as far as my favorite plants to grow in a vertical system, but I did just want to show it off. It's one of my favorite peppers and it's a shishito pepper. So what I'll show you here is because you got about, I don't know, four more inches of depth here, you can plant a plant that likes to be a deep rooted growing plant. So peppers work really well. You can grow tomatoes. In fact, there's a variety called Tiny Tim that we grew last year. It's a little tiny determinate bushing style tomato that when you put it out of the side of a vertical system, it kind of grows to about this big or so and works absolutely wonderfully. So just as an example, don't think that you can't grow bigger plants in a vertical system. You totally can. So the shishitos go in. I've actually even seen some friends of mine grow new potatoes. So baby potatoes harvested young in a system like this, where it's a little bit deeper. So in goes these shishitos, and then I'm gonna share with you my real pick for number three. Our shishitos are in, but the real secret for me in a vertical system, especially if you love salads and you spend a lot of money on fresh greens and fresh herbs at the grocery store or the farmer's market, doing a salad or lettuce and herb tower is probably your highest return on investment thing you'll ever grow in the garden because fresh salad ingredients like 
this lettuce right here, or even rosemaries, basils, thyme, sages, oreganos, are some of the most expensive things on a per ounce basis you'll get at a grocery store. So let me pot this up into this system right now, and I'll just show you how much produce you can really get. So now we have a lettuce tower that you could really customize as much as you want. The whole point of this particular suggestion is to put your favorite leafy greens or expensive greens and herbs into a system like this. So you can turn it around. Maybe you've got basil, oregano, thyme, sage, and rosemary in one of these tiers and you can do a quick little salad. Maybe you throw some little tiny Tim tomatoes up here or maybe these shishitos like you like. So it's really about which crops really are suited to a vertical system. Strawberries, beans, and greens works absolutely fantastically. The Greenstock Garden, one of our favorite tools. We love it. Hope you like this video. Good luck in the garden and keep on growing.